hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are solving another lead code problem that is 424 longest repeating character replacement before jumping into the solution i would highly recommend you should read the problem statement and at least give 15 to 30 minutes of your thinking to this problem so let's get right into it what problem is asking that you need to return the longest substring but but there is certain catch let me write the test case so that i can be able to explain so to make the longest substring you are given k operations in those k operation what you can do is you can change any character to any uppercase character to make the longest substring that's it and you can do that at most k times at most k times means 0 1 or dot 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 k times not greater than k only k so let's make or understand what i'm trying to say is let's take this substring we change b to a and here the k is given one we exhausted our k but let's increase the window size this is not fruitful because k is one and we cannot change it to a so this is the length if we do this and we go to this they are only we exhausted but we cannot change it this this much is the length only let me erase it this much is the length of the substring and again if we take b this time b this time b this time from initial onwards k is exhausted we increase but when we go encounter again second we this is the length we can achieve if we start from a b this is again the maximum that we can achieve but here i was just changing b to a can we get better by changing a to b let's see let's start from here we changed b to oh no sorry we are changing a to b let's iterate a is changed to b let's iterate 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 after that we again encountered a but our at most or our k was one so that's why again if we start from this a only the k is exhausted we increase increase we get three if we start from this we again get three and two and one so while making this this segment of substring something should have struck striked on your mind that it's sliding window also another intuition is substring also it is asking substring and in substring type of question sliding window is the go-to algorithm also another intuition is that it also has in it also has at most k times written in its problem statement and if you have done enough sliding window at most k is the thing which you can handle very easily with the sliding window so this much is clear why sliding window but there is a catch in this test case we are we are having only a a a b a a but it doesn't mean that it contains only two characters if if it would be containing two characters, then it is a very easy problem because we can have two cases try to change a everyone to a try to change everyone to b just return the max but that's not the case what we are doing what the problem is saying is that it contain all the uppercase letter so it doesn't mean that it will contain a and b so so how we are going to approach this problem but before approaching it if uh, i want to explain one more thing that if you have certain length of characters for example a a b a 
and we have a a a how to see if not see how to calculate how many changes have done have been done not this this very bad example yeah. very bad example what i'm trying to say is that to get the number of changes that it requires is length of this minus the max frequency max frequency what is the length for max frequency is three how many changes we required one why we are considering max frequency is that we want to make longest substring longest substring longest so the best and the most efficient step would be to change the one that is least appearing so which one is least appearing we can know only by the max frequency so according to the max frequency we will change the least fre frequent element to the max frequent element how many times at most k times and this is i i discussed if if you want to calculate how many changes have been done or how many changes it will require is just length of this substring minus the maximum frequency you get the number of changes that it would be required so this much is clear now let's discuss the algo algo how we are approaching this because we have discussed sliding window and the max frequency concept and how to calculate the change this much is done now let's this these three three things are required if you're still not able to understand just re rewind the video and you will be and also not still not able to then rewrite those test cases and try to think it so let's get moving what algorithm is make a hash table hash table of 26 obvious reason because there are 26 alphabet hmm. to make the frequency and what we are doing is that we will just what we will be doing is that we just keep on increasing we will have a start and end not stand start and end we will keep on increasing the end till 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 this what i discuss the change how we getting the changes and minus start and minus start is what the length minus the maximum frequency and while increasing this end make always on the go on the go calculate the max frequency max frequency and if the max frequency is greater than k just what to do what to do if it is greater if we have increased this much size of window and this is not satisfying our condition we will decrease its size we will decrease its size so what we will do is we increase the start and also calculate current max frequency if it changed we come out of loop and also keep on calculating while this is a good a good string good string means the substring that satisfying the condition we will just keep on getting storing the maximum length the n minus start so that is our algor pseudocode what we are doing make a hash table two pointers start and end keep on iterating the end and calculate the maximum frequency 
calculate the maximum frequency while uh, filling the hash table and if this happens this why happens because i already explained this gives us the number of changes if the number of changes becomes greater than k then we have to decrease the size of window and while decreasing the size of window it can uh, change the maximum frequency so keep on calculating it and out of when coming out of this or even this condition is not encountered keep on calculating the maximum size so this much is the algo let's dry run on a test case a b a what is the test case is a a a b a a a b a b b a and k is one we will make the hash table for a we will just keep on increasing also the result will be calculated over here result is two currently this time here it is two how much is the length it's three minus the maximum frequency three minus two it's still one we will keep on increasing four minus 4 minus 3 it's still 1 we will keep on increasing now it's 3 b is now 2 5 minus 3 maximum frequency is 3 this is the size this is 2 this is where it failed what we will be doing is now we have to decrease the size now this much is the window size this much is the window size is it still because now 3 is down to 2 maximum frequency is 2 still now condition is not satisfied again we will decrease it we are up to here what this substring is including b a b here a is 1 now b is 2 what is the size size is 3 2 1 now it's a valid window but before this happened what was the size i just forgot to update its size was 4 it went to 3 then to 4 but here the size is 2 only not 3 only so uh, b is 2 a huh. there is the size is 3 only it's still greater nothing will be changed again we will increase the size b is 3 b is now 3 it is 1 maximum frequency is 3 size is 4 3 minus 1 but still it is 4 we are having 4 nothing will change we will increase it to this time this time there are 3 a's and not 3 a's 3 b's 2 a's size is 6 and maximum frequency is 3 3 and this time when this gets into the loop this gets into the loop we will just decrease the size uh, we are let me do this over here because i will not be able to see in down so this decrease the frequency to 5 minus 2 it's still 3 nothing is changed when this happens b b a frequency it's one and how much is the length length it's three minus two one but already we have four it's length three it doesn't matter we get out of the loop and we get out of the hydration uh, the uh, the loop outer loop and that's it we return the answer return the result what is the result result is this four so i hope i was able to make you clear about my intuition so let's see what is the code this is the hash table the basic maximum frequency start and result iterating till the end while iterating keep on filling the hash table and keep on making the 
maximum frequency computed and if and also we are keep on calculating the result and if this condition happen what is this condition already discussed this is just number of changes if the number of changes went above k so what will be happening is we are decreasing the size of window and also we are computing the maximum frequency by using the this is the stl max star max element we keep on calculating and as you have seen in the test case that after a certain period of time what is the certain iteration that is and is less than size it will just get out of that and we just return the result and see if it is running or not yeah it is running submitting so i hope uh, i was able to make you understand the problem the solution the code and if you like my video and you got something to learn consider subscribing and liking this video so till then keep grinding and uh, keep grinding <laughs> and you guys are awesome bye bye see you in the next one peace